All right, we're back with another Bison Gear product installation and review. This one is the rear door net replacement Molly panel. Um, so this is everything it comes with: the brack, the Molly replacement itself, and hardware. Uh, the rest of the stuff we'll need for the installation is socket and hex wrench to install all the bolts. Uh, so a trim tool to get off the back panel and then a drill to pre-drill these holes. Um, and there's two ways to install this. You could use self-tapping screws. I'm taking off the whole uh, trim on the back because I'm doing the fold down table too. That'll be the next video. Um, so we're gonna do um, nuts and bolts uh, installation and we'll start with getting that back panel off. So we'll jump into that. All right, so like I said, the next step is to take off this door panel. Um, this is my first time doing it, so I'd go watch a YouTube video on how to do it um, instead of following my instructions, but we gotta take these two little clips off. There's a Phillips head screw under here. Take these two caps off, pull this handle off, and then pull pry up along the four bottom edges and then pull straight up on the whole panel. So we'll get that done and then move on to the next step. All right, so there's what the panel looks like once it's removed. I'll put a link in the description for the video I watched to know how to do this. It wasn't easy, but also wasn't super difficult. Uh, just take your time, be patient. Uh, the handle is pretty hard to get off. Um, so just take your time. Um, what's next is we're gonna get this net off it's held on by uh, Phillips screws on the back side. So we're gonna take those off and then put the new panel on, mark our holes, drill the holes, um, get this mounted up. All right, so I got the net taken off, came off super easy, just take those screws out. And then I went ahead and put the uh, Molly panel on here. There is a front and a back. When I got mine, it had a protective film on the what I'm calling the front side that you see now. Um, it just depends on these curves are a little different. So that's, that's the right direction. I went ahead and drilled one hole and got this bolt in just to make sure I knew the drill bit size. It's a 13 64th. So I got this one in, I'm gonna get the other corner in and then just buzz around drilling holes and tightening them all up. And we'll show you what that looks like next. All right, so there's the finished product of the Bison Gear net replacement, getting rid of the sagging net, making the space usable again. Really straightforward install. Once you get the panel off, um, just put drill your holes, put bolts all the way around. You aren't gonna be able to use washers on the backside because it's close to the edge. Um, and then one other tip is to install the cap for the strap on the bottom before you install this panel, otherwise you won't be able to reach it very easily. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really cool upgrade, even if it's just cosmetic and you don't use this for anything. Um, it's a cool way to make it look more finished instead of the saggy net. Um, in the next video, we're going to be installing the Bison Gear fold down table on this panel. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.